and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, we are stuffing my second paycheck from May. So this video is getting out quite a bit later than I wanted. Um, I was honestly debating if I should just say screw it <laughs> with filming this week and just stuff this money on my own. But you guys know how I am, so I decided to still film, even though I've already dipped into um, the money for like my cash envelopes. So I'm just not stuffing anything in my cash envelopes this week because we're already almost halfway through the week and it's almost time for another cash stuffing on Friday. So I've already used some of the money. I just figured just I'll just skip that. Um, but I do want to, of course, still stuff my binders for you guys um it also holds me accountable just making sure i'm stuffing you know what i need to be each week so i can reach my goals so we are going to stuff um just my sinking funds binders in this video but like i said i still wanted to get something out for you guys so that's what i'm doing hope you guys are all having a great week and i hope you guys had a great mother's day mother's day was on sunday and i had a really good day we had a picnic um, I got flowers like to plant in my yard so I'm super excited for that. It's funny because I got my mom flowers to plant in her yard and then the kids and their dad got me flowers to plant in our yard so it's kind of funny. Um, but I've been saying that I wanted to start like a little flower garden for a while so finally get to do that. Um, so I'm excited about that and then I have to show you guys this little bouquet thing my mom made me. How cute is this? It's like a bouquet with like dollar bills supposed to look like flowers but my mom is very like um crafty so she always makes me like the cutest things um but anyway yeah hopefully you guys had a great mother's day as well for those who were able to celebrate but yeah we'll go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing okay so this week i'm stuffing six hundred dollars um i do have two envelopes to stuff that are part of my cash envelopes because i just hadn't used the money yet so i figured i would just include it but all my other cash envelopes i pretty much used already so um yeah there's nothing to stuff there so we're stuffing six hundred dollars this week and there's the money right there um, i'm gonna start off with my long-term binder you guys, I have been like seriously slacking with everything and I know I have an excuse being pregnant. We're entering the ninth month. I can't believe it. It's flying by. Next month I get to meet my little baby and I can't wait, but I just feel like this baby, this pregnancy is taking all of my energy and I've just been slacking and it's not a good feeling. I hate it. I'm usually a person who's like on top of everything and, you know, gets my stuff done early and I've just been just not feeling it lately but we're almost there we're almost at the finish line so i'm just trying to stay positive and keep my energy levels up as much as i can but this anemia has been killing me and it's been really hard even with like eating green vegetables and all of that stuff it just doesn't seem to be doing anything so we shall see um, but we're gonna go ahead and start off with aston and aston this week is going to get 50 dollars. so i do normally stuff 50 dollars each week for the kids um, so that gives Aston one thousand to three and then fifty, so three thousand fifty dollars. Next is for Alea, and she is also going to be getting fifty dollars this week, and that puts her at one thousand to three and fifty, so three thousand fifty for her as well. Moving along to family time, so family time this week is going to get twenty bucks and that gives it 50 70 90 110 30 50 70 and 90 so 190 for family time we haven't really been able to do too much just because of my <laughs> energy and just the way that i feel so we've been just hanging out inside i take the kids to the park um almost every day just to try to get them outside and you know run around burn some energy for them but it's just been really hard you guys like really really hard challenging it's frustrating but i know it's almost over all right anyway so next is for vacation and vacation is going to get 20 bucks and it now has 1 20 40 60 82 and 20 so 220 for vacation 
Um, I told you guys I didn't really have any vacations planned besides my birthday trip, but that's not all the way until November. Um, my kid's dad, his birthday is in July and he wants to go back to Miami. So I don't know. We're like Miami obsessed freaks over here. But I was like, I feel like we should try somewhere new, like maybe Houston or Atlanta or something like a new city. So we'll see. We'll probably end up in Miami, but whatever. Miami is always a vibe. So I just, I love it there too. So I don't blame him for wanting to go, but I kind of want to try something new. Next is for the house account and it is going to get $20 as well. So that puts it at 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, and 40. So 340 for the house. Moving along to business. So the business envelope is going to get 20 bucks as well. And that gives it 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 3, 10, 30, and 50. So 350 for business. Next is for the surprise or the baby's envelope. And he's going to get 50 bucks this week. And that gives him 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 56, 20, and 40. So 640 for the surprise envelope. New whip. I'm not stuffing this week. I filled you guys in on what was going on with the car situation. So they ended up um, telling me my car was worth more than what I owed. So I'll have a couple thousand dollars left to either put towards a new car or whatever. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it with the whole financing situation and all of that. So I'm not stuffing anything in here. This will most likely just be extra money. I'll probably still put it towards the car, but I'll let you guys know. Um, I have been looking at cars, still just haven't found anything that I really love. So I'm just going to continue looking until it gets to be about like mid-June and then I'm forced to make a decision. Um, but I am going to take you guys along with me to go car shopping. I haven't went and looked in person just yet, but I have, um, you know, been browsing online. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, next is for the $10,000 savings challenge. And this week it is going to get $100. All right, so it now has 1,000, 2, 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, and 5. So 2,435. Moving along to the $1,000 savings challenge. This week it is going to get 20 bucks. And that puts it at 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, and 60. So 260 and this money will go towards the baby's savings account. Still haven't opened one for him just yet, but I'm gonna do that shortly. Um, not in a huge rush, just because I don't have all the money that I wanna put in there just yet. But anyway, um, next is for the Disney Savings Challenge, and it is going to get 40 bucks this week. All right, so that gives it 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 30, and 40. So 740 bucks. So we're pretty close to hitting a placeholder in that um, envelope. And I had money left over from last year that I rolled into savings. So we're almost at 3000 for that, honestly. Um, well, actually not almost. We still have like, I wanna say a thousand and some change to go, but pretty close. Um, so that's it for my long-term binder. And then we'll go ahead and move on to short-term. All right, so starting off with Christmas. Christmas this week is gonna get 10 bucks. And that puts it at 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So 180 for Christmas. Next is for clothes. And clothes is going to get $20. That gives it 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So 190 for clothes. Moving along to Amazon. So Amazon is going to get 20 bucks this week. 
and it now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 40, and 50. So 150, I haven't really been spending on Amazon too much. Um, what I've been doing, honestly, is using the money that I make off of my storefront and some of it I will spend or order things. Um, my job just recently gave me a Amazon gift card for my five year anniversary. So I ended up using um, that to order like a patio set. So I ordered a patio set and I'm gonna try to like fix my back deck up pretty for the summer. So I'm excited for that to get here. Um, and then I have my flowers out there, so it just feels nice and, and summery. I just recently hit five years at my job, so I'm, I don't know if I told you guys already, but my raise kicked in, so my paychecks have been, um, you know, more. I'm still just stuffing what I normally would stuff and acting like I didn't get the raise because that way I'll just accumulate more money in my checking. So that's just kind of how I've been doing that. But can't believe I've been at my job for five years. It's kind of crazy. Time flies. When I started there, I was pregnant. I had just found out I was pregnant with my very first son. And now it's like five years later and I'm on my third baby. It's just weird. But anyway, moving on to YouTube giveaway. So giveaway is going to get five bucks. And it now has 50, 75, 85, 95, 105. So 105 for giveaway. Don't forget if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to my channel because we are about 300 subscribers away from 17,000 and you guys know I'm gonna do a giveaway for you guys. Um, if you guys liked the luxury purse giveaway, I can do more of those. I get requests to do like those reviews all the time for those replica bags. So if you guys do want me to do more, I'd be more than happy to, you know, do a giveaway with one of those bags and you know give it away to one of you guys so we can keep doing that if you want just let me know down below in the comments if you guys like that next is for date night i'm skipping over this this envelope has a good amount in it honestly we need to go on a date here shortly but it's probably gonna have to wait until after baby comes um he had mentioned something about booking like a little weekend getaway before the baby comes so I'm gonna leave that up to him and see what happens with that. Probably just somewhere local like DC, Atlantic City, something like that. But that'll be on him since that was his idea. <laughs> um, so next is for birthdays and birthdays, I am stuffing $10 and that gives birthdays 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So 90 bucks and that wraps up my short term binder. And then the rest of this, so I should have, there's gonna be 50, 60, 70, and five. This is going towards um, my nails. So I'm so sick of looking at this blue color. So I'm gonna go Thursday night and get my nails done. I'm gonna get something bright, like a corally peachy color. I just, I don't know. I just want something bright, like pink. So this, I'm just gonna put in my wallet cause I told you guys, I'm not even really, um, doing my cash envelopes this week. I'll stuff them next week and then there should be 70 and this is going towards groceries. So I'm just gonna keep this in my wallet, but that is it for today's cash stuffing. I hope you guys did enjoy and I don't think I had anything else to really tell you guys. Um, Oh, if you're not already following me on TikTok and you would like to follow me, I'm going to leave my TikTok name right here. It's also in the description down below. I post a lot of like the cash count ASMR type of videos over there and like Target and um, beauty drugstore runs that I go on. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, then make sure to check out my TikTok. Also, um, check out my Amazon storefront. I did add some new stuff to it. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything it's all stuff that i personally love and use so make sure you check that out but other than that i don't think i really have anything else to talk about my life's pretty boring lately because you know i'm pregnant and just a tired mother of two already so yeah i'm just trying to take it easy and rest as much as possible i cannot wait cannot wait to be off work so i'll probably go back to work i want to say like mid end of november 
um, and I'm going out in June. I might go out like a week early before the baby comes just to kind of rest and relax, but I'm gonna try to work up until because, I mean, I work from home. If I worked in a building or I had to drive to work, I probably would take off a little bit early, like two or three weeks early, but I'm just gonna try to work up until the baby comes. So we'll see. I'm pretty sure he's gonna come early. I just have a feeling this time around is a lot different. I feel like a lot of pressure and a lot of discomfort already. And I really didn't have that with my first two. So we'll see. He's already head down and he's ready to come out once he's done fully baking, but I want him to stand there as long as possible, you know, so he's fully developed and everything. But I am so ready to just be back to myself and to not be swollen and to just enjoy summer. I can't wait to have a margarita. I might pack a bottle of Patron in my hospital bag, not even gonna lie, but I'm just kidding, totally kidding. Honestly, doesn't sound like a bad idea though, but <laughs> I would not do that. All right, guys, I enjoyed talking to you guys. Make sure you guys leave me comments. I love responding to you guys and I will talk to you all in a Friday's video. Bye.